Hello and welcome to the ninth episode of our weekly Unity Tip Roundup, where we take a look at the tweets that were posted or mentioned on or around each Tuesday under the Unity Tips hashtag. On this week's episode we had a lot of tips to go through and we are almost sad that we cannot simply show all of them. Let's see how you like our choices. In this episode we gather tweets that were posted, shared or tweeted around 8th of March 2022. We are starting with a tip from Mirza. He has an impressive follower count of 8917. He also is a recurring face in our roundup list. This means that there is a good chance to find even more great tips on his profile. The tip he is sharing seems rather simple, but it might make a lot of things easier. He explains that you can access the components of Unity's vectors the same way you would access array elements. Check out the animation to see how this can clean up your code easily. We continue with a trip from the Japanese account Obashonzuke. With over 5000 followers, he is one of the larger accounts that frequently shares tips on Twitter. Again, as a short reminder, with tweets that are in a language that we do not speak ourselves, we have to rely on translations, but we hope that we get it right. If we misinterpret something, let us know in the comments. His tip is on a new feature in Unity's 2020 version, and it might also make your work a lot easier if you need to copy values from vectors to arrays often, because now you can simply copy something like the position of a game object and paste it into an array. It almost feels like it would not be a complete roundup episode without a tip from Peter. Sunny Valley Studio is back in our list with 505 followers on his Twitter account. That is almost 200 more in comparison to the first time we featured one of his tips in our first episode. If you work with debug output extensively, his current tip will make your life easier. Instead of having to read through a potential heap of debug output, you can get a better overview if you use the ability to change the font color in your debug messages. Check out his image for an example. This week's begins to feel like an old class reunion because here's another name you might be familiar with. Weekle Physics is back with another tip on, you might have guessed it, physics. This time it is a reminder that since 2015 the performance hit you got when moving static colliders is a thing of the past. You won't need a rigid body in those cases too. But be aware that collisions and friction won't be calculated properly in these cases. Check out his post for a link to the documentation. Erfan is, as he describes himself, socially awkward. But he is also an upcoming Unity community member with 103 followers. How about we try to make this number higher? Head on over to his profile and leave him a follow. He made our list with a short but very handy tip. Apparently he recently discovered that you can drag and drop prefabs on top of each other to replace them. If you have to replace a lot of objects in your scene with a new prefab, this will reduce your workload immensely. And we are almost done with the list, only our very own tip for this week is still to add. Honestly, we knew that it was a handy one, but we were not prepared for the overwhelmingly positive feedback and traction that it gained. And it is not even a new feature. Apparently, it is possible since Unity 2019.2, as someone in the comments told us. We are talking about the inspector name attribute, which can be used to set better names for your enum values in the inspector. This makes it easier to write components that are usable without knowing the secret coders language. We have reached the end of our list, but that does not mean that these are all the Unity tips that were posted this week. There is always a ton of good content out there on Twitter that we would love to cover, but then we would have to make episodes that are hours long. As always, this is only possible because of the very helpful and kind Unity community. Our gratitude goes out to each and every one of the creators that take part in this weekly event. And we hope that you feel the same and show your appreciation by heading over to Twitter and leaving a few followers here and there. If you ever feel like you need more of these videos, there are a few more episodes on our YouTube channel. We also have some tutorials which might be interesting if you are learning how to use Unity. If you find something useful, consider subscribing to our channel. If you do so, click the bell icon to activate notifications. For any questions, comments, recommendations or requests, please use the comment section. Thank you for your time and see you next week.